What's up traders, Chris here. We got another top Forex trade review for you here. This one by our student Visama who came in second place last week, almost got it, Did, almost got the nod, but uh, got it this week. So she's been banging on the door and she really did a great job of kind of just keep attacking the markets and doing what she does. So we're gonna talk about her trade setup here, her trade strategy, talk about the price action context, what she was using, how she was analyzing it. Look at her stop loss, take profit, entry, everything she did. And I'm gonna talk about also some areas of improvement as well so that you can see how we teach our traders to make money and how we can teach you to make money trading. So we're looking at a day trade here. And so here's kind of the basic post here. She was on uh, Aussie Yen. Her entry price here, she mistyped the numbers here. Entry price is 69.05. Because when you do the math, 25 pips from there and 25 pips or five pips from there, it all stands out. So um, she was only in the trade for three hours. This is a short term day trade. She's trading with trend and she only had a five pip stop. So keep in mind, Aussie Yen probably has close to a one pip spread on it. So she really had four pips of room, which requires precision. You have to have the right entry location, right timing for that to work out because four pips doesn't take much for the market to blow one direction, four pips or blow four pips in the other direction. So did a great job on this one here. This is the actual trade from her broker's chart here. This is from Wanda. So kind of showing, confirming the location here, this is it, and this is where she got out. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the chart here. Okay, so here's the actual trade, Aussie Yen, five minute chart here. And this is where she got in, 69.05. And she had her stop at 69 flat or 69.004, so that'd be about five pips there. And her take profit was right here. So let's mark these real quick. So we got that all marked up. Let's get rid of the actual trade here and we can see what's going on. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. Aussie's bullish short term and it has nice impulsive corrective structure, really strong impulsive move here, breaks above the 69 handle here, pulls back into support, makes a new swing high, and then starts to create some resistance here at 69.30 basically. So she's noticing, hey, short term resistance on this up move here, but it's building a base above this pullback level. So she feels like it's overall very strong, keeps pressing into this here. So now it kind of keeps attacking this resistance between 69.30 and 69.38 and almost breaks out and makes it all the way to 69.39, but then pretty strong sell off, pull back into this. So now we've really kind of created a resistance zone between 69.30 and 69.39. So this little nine pip zone here. Sells off super aggressive and just runs right into the same level here. And so some people say like, oh, support and resistance doesn't work on a five minute time frame. They're crazy. You can see it right here. So where does this thing go to? Right to the pip of where this low was here. So really your support is kind of a zone between 69.08 and 69.03. And it goes right back to it, dink, dink, dink. And she feels like she wants to get in long on this one here. And so it's pretty clear the market is respecting this 69.05 area. So she gets in on that 69.05 and rides it all the way up to just shy of this overall zone. She gets out at 69.30. So entry location is near perfect. If she missed this entry, then really you could only shave off another pip. That is an, so her precision was absolutely on point. However, if she was not trading like a market order and she didn't miss this one, then her ideal location would have been here. And then she could have had a tighter stop and had a couple more points profitability to it. And it would have added overall with a 25 pip target. If she had added two more pips of profitability, that's about almost another 10% profit in terms of her overall target on that one there. But other than that, you know, we're talking about two pips here. She was super precise on this one here. Trade pretty much went all the way into the positive right away and never really went in the negative. In fact, I think she showed on her stat that was saying time profitable 99%. So that means that she had the trade location perfect. She was getting in where the institutional orders were. The market really didn't move against her. The moment she got in, it moved into profit and stayed like that. So overall, great job on this one here. You really can't get a more precise entry on this one here. Two pips out of five, I, I think, I, I think that's pretty darn good. Now, the one thing about her target I felt like was just, I kind of understand what she's saying. She feels like this might have been resistance here, but other than this, look at where all the pullbacks went to. This went to 38 with a lot of meat between 30 and 32. Same thing here, meat up to 33. And then this one kind of penetrates into 36, 37, and 39. So I think she was getting out a little bit early just to be cautious in case she ran into it. But out of all these touches here, one, two, three, four, five, six, only one 
had just gone below the 30 level. All of them went to 32 up to 39. So I would have gone for a little more meat on this one here. You know, maybe she could have gone for 31, 32, or maybe she could have gone more this mid range here. You know, if you go like this and you draw this line across, it pretty much, other than this pullback, every other one was touched. So again, another two pips on a 25 pip target. That's gonna add again about almost 10% of her total target. Just those little bits add up when you have small targets, every little bit matters. If you have a 200 pip target, two pips isn't gonna make that much of a difference overall. So, you know, overall, I think she could have gone for a little bit more on this, but other than that, I think she did a fantastic job on this one here. Near perfect entry on this one here. Excellent target, great timing here, and all done on the five minute chart, you know? So she's trading basically very straightforward, impulsive move, large corrective structure, and that's not too complicated. You know, she's trading with trend. Very, very simple. She's just trading that. And so she's waiting for the market to get back to her entry. She's trading with trend and trading with the target. Super simple, super straightforward. Sometimes the simplest things are the most powerful and the easiest to profit from. So what did you think of this trade? Did you think it could have been a little bit better entry? Do you think she could have held her target a little bit more? Do you feel like I was being a little too, you know, kind of harsh on her, which I didn't think I was, I thought. I think she has an A-plus trade here. So, you know, what's your overall thoughts on this? Did you like this trade? And do you trade on the five-minute chart? Or do you find it difficult? But after looking at this chart, if you find it difficult, does the price action here look really confusing? To me, it doesn't. It looks very much like any other time frame can look. And so, you know, the kind of myth that there's all kinds of noise on the smaller time frames, to me, this is about as clear as it could possibly be. And she saw it ahead of time and traded it and took advantage of it. And so a lot of people, I kind of think, diss it for the wrong reasons. The lower time frames for the wrong reasons. I just look at it as like, look, if you don't know how to trade on the smaller time frame, that's one thing. But that doesn't mean that trading on the smaller time frames is noise. There's a lot of professional traders who do it. I think it's more honest to say, hey, I couldn't pay her personally make it work for me. But that doesn't mean it's not valid because our traders are doing it all the time. They're trading on every time frame you could possibly imagine from the one minute all the way up to the weekly charts. And so price action is price action. Time frame is just a lens into a different aspect of that price section. Do you wanna be close up or do you wanna zoom out a little bit? And that's all you're really doing with time frame. So what'd you think of this video? What do you think of this trade? Make sure to leave your comments below, smash the like button as well, subscribe to our channel, and you'll be getting notifications when the videos come out as soon as possible. Other than that, I hope you have a good trading week. Markets kind of start off a little bit slow. We had the little airline stuff going on with Buffett announcing he sold his shares, although that was all done ahead of Friday. So that's why you didn't see as huge a move in the airlines today. They gapped down, but then they've kind of just gone nowhere. So I think the market's really just kind of digesting this whole situation, seeing what's going on. But I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are going to be quite volatile and a lot of good trade setups there. So stay tuned. Other than that, stay green, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video.